Examples. So there's really two types of examples that, I, that I've seen that companies do really, really well on. You know, there are the on-the-spot, <laughs> informal, sort of day-to-day -day type things that happen. And then there are the rhythmic ones. And I'm going to talk about the, the on-the-spot stuff first, and then I talk about the rhythmic ones. So the on-the-spot ones is things like, you know, so here's some examples of some of what our clients are doing. So peer-to-peer, -peer, you know, typical recognition sort of flows down the organization. Right? You do a really great job, and then your manager tells you that you've done well, and, um, and that's meaningful to you, and I'm not discounting that. But when you are you know, uh, in, in finance, and one of your fellow finance peers, or you're in the call center, and a fellow call center employee tells you, hey, that was really great the way you handled that customer um, problem. You know, it seems like they were really happy with that. I think you did a really great job. It's so much more meaningful to uh, to get recognition from a peer than it is from sort of top down because there's the entitlement, there's the expectation that your manager should recognize you. But when your peers do it, right, we've just seen some magical things happen in an organization. To take that one step further, what's even greater, and again, it's all about creating a culture of recognition which flows up, left, down, and right. You know, I'll tell you a story of, uh, of our CFO. You know, our CFO is like any other finance guy. You know, he's a former PwC guy, he's a CA. It's all about the numbers and the bottom line, and that's how he sees the world. And he's, you know, a wonderful individual, and, you know, he kind of gets the recognition stuff. But it was really early in his career at I Love Rewards where, where he volunteered to do a lunch and learn for our team on professional development, and it was your resume in 20 years, right? And Dave, my CFO, truly believes in, like, start with the end in mind, right? What do you want your resume to look like 20 years from now? And then align your actions and your jobs to go to that, to that resume. And, and about half the company showed up to it. It was completely optional. And uh, what was amazing is, you know, we've got our own little peer-to-peer -peer system where you can recognize anybody, and it's on the web. And he got, you know, three or four people who said, hey, really great job. And I was, you know, in his office, we, you know, we had our one-on-one. -on -one, and he's like, Razor, come. Come look at this. And I'm like, okay, well, what is it, Dave? He's like, just, just come on the side. And he, and he pulls up his little screen and his little account. And um, it's an email from, from Paula, you know, one of our sales reps that the finance guy just rarely talks to. And says, you know, Dave, thank you so much for putting on that session and taking time to sort of share your wisdom with our team. You know, I'm always concerned about where I'm going, and your session really helped me align my, you know, career path to where I want to go. And I'm going to work on it this weekend, and I really appreciate you doing that. And I've got this finance guy, you know, he's like 200 pounds, and he's like numbers guy, and he has like a little tear in his eye. Like, he is like by moved by the fact that somebody recognized what he did, because he spent a lot of time and energy on it, right? And it didn't cost the company anything. They were just recognizing him, and I'm like, Dave, this is why what we do works, right? And you just saw the light bulb. You just saw it click, right? And you saw how meaningful it was to him because he'd made a difference in someone's life and he was recognized for it. So as great as manager to peer is a really great sort of entry to the game, peer to peer is awesome, but if you can make it flow up, down, left, and right in your organization, you're going to see amazing <coughs> things happen and people really buying into that. Um, recognition cards, you know, one of the, so this box package from KPMG, one of our clients, and they have their, you know, their partners and their senior managers write out personal notes to their uh, accountants and, and uh, audit managers about things that they've done for clients, and they're really specific about their, their actions and behaviors and the results they get. And what's neat is you see these cards sort of on people's desks and scattered around the organization, and it's like, it's like you know, adults are just big kids, right? You know, and when I was in grade three, you know, my teacher used to give us gold stars, right? And you just put your gold stars next to your name, and you walk around. We have both Rogers as a client at a call center and KPMG, and they have all these little point cards and all these little recognition cards of things that they've done in the organization, and it's sort of their, their badge of pride, and they're honored by it. And it's amazing, because then you get leverage, right? Not only is recognition free, but if you can create some sort of item that gets treasured and remembered, you, know, you get leverage for sort of years to come, and that's what people really remember. Um, you know, e-certificates we did for Microsoft, it's just basically taking, you know, uh, manual stuff and putting it online and doing, creating recognition throughout the entire country in different departments, right, and letting managers um, communicate throughout an entire organization, especially if you're in different offices and have lots of employees across the country. Um, we talked a little bit about points cards, but, but SMS, right, text messaging. And I think what the real message was here is that you know, one of our clients who has a huge Gen Y workforce, you know, they realized that effectively 
communicating is communicating in the fashion in which the recipient wants to receive it, not the sender wants to send it. Right? So you may have your idea of how to communicate and to recognize, but their demographic uses text messaging and not email. Right? They don't even answer their phones. So don't even call your, your Gen Y kids if you have any. Right? Like it's all about text messaging. So they're like, you know, we want to be hip and cool and address their needs and show them that we get it. And text messaging is something that's just been wildly popular over the last few years, and, and I think it's going to continue. And then you've got really traditional programs for a company like Sears, who's got four different demographics and you know, Y, uh, X, boomers, and and older than boomer, whatever that is. <laughs> And it works for there, right? And it's traditional and that works for the thing. So the, the, the point that I want to make is that on the spot is really important and figure out which one is going to work in your organization. Just because a company does it like Marriott or Microsoft, you can't sort of take that and ingrain it as much. Take the concept of the one that works and figure out what's going to work in your organization because it's going to be authentic to you. It's got to feel real and meaningful and authentic and genuine for recognition to work. The other way is sort of rhythmic re uh, recognition. One of the, the best practices, and what I mean by rhythmic, is that it happens at set times, right? So, so um, a, a best practice that we learned from a company called 1-800-GOT-JUNK. It's a Canadian company based in Vancouver with offices around the world. And they have this daily meeting um, for about 12 minutes in their organization, and they start off with headlines. Right? And whether it's personal things that happen to you, you got engaged, it was a birthday, you closed in your house, any company wins, you know, we just signed up a new franchise partner in Atlanta, you know, our Calgary office hit uh, a million junk pickups, and they celebrate and recognize the accomplishments and successes of their business every single day. It happens at the exact same time, in the exact same way, and the content changes, but the format is really is really the same, right? And everybody gets it. You know you're going to bring your stories to the to that point in the day. Um, you know, you take that and you do it on a weekly basis. One of the best practices in Chip's book is they do at their at every uh, department meeting, starting with their senior leaders, is that um, they have their senior leaders go around and and tell what they saw happen in the company and recognize one individual throughout the organization. I remember, um, you know, at one of their hotels, they had, uh, the general manager was recognizing um, an individual, the elevators were broken, and the individual, you know, logged, logged, you know, uh, three suitcases up, seven flights of stairs, and made the guest experience what Joie de Vie, that's his hotel company, should be, right? They're all about guest experience. And they didn't let the guests feel the impact, you know, of, of lugging up their own suitcases. And, and it was amazing to sort of hear that story, and I was there at the time, and I saw, you know, the IT manager who, who happened to be um, in the hotel and recognizing that individual, right? And the IT guy doesn't talk to the bellhop, ever. But he heard that story at the general meeting and have the leader of the IT team come and recognize you specifically about what you did, only because they created that format where every week they talk about the successes in their business, the people that perform, the ones that need to be recognized, and it creates this amazing rhythmic opportunity to, uh, to recognize your team. You know, in I Love Rewards, we have our monthly rewards and recognition lunch, where we sort of celebrate the accomplishments of every individual for the past month. We've got our criteria, our goals that we want to hit, and every, every month the content changes, but, um, but the, the process and the time, it's the first Friday of every month, again, and you're always invited 